My name is Jason Levin, and I'm an entrepreneur and an engineer, and uh, I design and create portable vaporizers. I looked at the industry and I saw that there was a lot of growth potential. It had really come a long way when I really came into things a couple of years ago in California and I saw tremendous potential because what I really noticed was a professionalization of the industry. And so a lot of the reputation that goes along with the cannabis industry as a whole is sort of changing. And when I saw that I said, wow, okay, this really has some significant potential. I want to get involved with this. The difference between a vaporizer and smoking is that the heater is going to heat up to a temperature where the plant material isn't going to combust. So there's no fire, there's no burning, but it's hot enough that all the active ingredients, all the chemicals that you want are going to boil off and the stuff that you don't want is going to stay behind. So what we designed is uh, an electronic cigar vaporizer and uh, we really wanted to address a couple of the, the drawbacks that we saw on the market. Really it was all about user benefit for us. So we created an instant heat. Uh, our heater is able to reach 375 degrees Fahrenheit in 2.5 seconds, which is a huge, huge gain over the 60 to 90 seconds of our competitors. And one of the added advantages is because there's a CPU inside that regulates the heater, uh, our battery life winds up being about six times longer than our best competitor. So it really just lasts all night and you plug it in at night like a cell phone when you're done with it. We currently have working production samples, and right now we're doing a Series A round. And once we complete that, we're gonna bring on a larger full-time team. Then we have a couple of months of final tweaks. We're bringing on an industrial designer this week who's gonna help us with the final aesthetics. And then we expect to do a pre-sale over, like a, a crowdsourced pre-sale in a couple of months. You know, I think that you have to move carefully. You have to be respectful of individual states' laws. There are certain states that uh, really only a handful today, but there are a few that are very strict about this sort of thing. And so you really have to respect those states. The people of that state voted, and that's what they decided they wanted to do, and, and that's fine. Uh, there are other states that are much, much more lax about it. We're an ancillary business. We don't handle anything that's federally illegal. So we're not technically doing anything wrong. Uh, it's just a matter of what the laws are in each individual state. And you know, we have a legal team that has looked at that. And so uh, we'll, we'll manage that when it comes to our distributors and to our shipping and, and kind of approach that cautiously and respectfully.